Hello everyone, I'm here with my second Goose Creek haul. Uh, I did this one on Candle Day that they had. Uh, the previous haul was from their um, Black Friday sale. So yes, um, uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of wax hauls lately. Um, here in Canada, we don't have as much choice of wax as in, in the States. So when my son went down on vacation um, down to Miami, of course I'm going to get him to get Better Homes, Gardens, and Sensationals. And uh, yeah, Goose Creek's shipping to Canada. So yeah, that's why I've been doing a lot of wax hauls. Uh, it's just exciting to get some new wax that you haven't tried before. So this is my um, second haul, and I did get four candles, about 10 wax melts. Alrighty, the first candle, I'll start with the candles, and the first one is, uh, oh, the first day of autumn. And okay, check out the cat. Oh my God, he's so cute. And on the back, there he is. Oh my God, look, the look on his face too. Like, oh my God, it's just adorable packaging. Scent notes for this are leaves, black pepper, ginger, and saw spice. And it de definitely does have that kind of leafy, raking the leaves kind of scent to it. I pick up the ginger. Black pepper, I don't, uh, the, the ginger and the soft spices I do get. It's almost like a bakery scent in a way. But you do get that kind of outdoorsy leafy note in there with the, um, the soft spices. And I, I actually do pick up the ginger. So yeah, that is um nice yummy scent and all that cat. He's adorable. Alrighty, um, the next candle is Lavender Snowfall. So this is Lavender, Fallen Snow, and Peppermint Woods. So I was kind of interested in this combination of Lavender and Peppermint because they, they can both be very strong, overpowering scents. So I kind of wondered how are they going to kind of get along? How are they going to compete? Um, is one going to be more dominant than the other? Um, yeah, it just, it's just an odd kind of combination. So, yeah, this is... I th I don't know if I'm picking up one more than the other or not. Uh, I It is an herbal lavender. I get the peppermint. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'll have to see when it's melting. Um, sometimes that kind of changes things up and softens up a scent. Um, I don't know, there's just kind of a funky, funky smell in the, the background that's kind of maybe chemically, I don't know. Oh, I'm getting nose blind. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting one. Like I said, I'm going to have to maybe melt this to get a real feel for it. Um, I don't know. Just not too sure about that one. I love lavender scents. I love peppermint scents. Um, I don't know if they're just too much together or... I don't know. We'll have to see when it's melting. Um, I did pick up an espresso cake pop. And this is vanilla cake, uh, warm chocolate, espresso bean and frosting. Now I get chocolate more than anything. Um, like a dark chocolate. I don't know. Am I picking up espresso beans or not? I don't know. I think I just get more chocolate than anything. It's yummy. Um, I was hoping there, the espresso would come out a little bit more. Was definitely heavy on the chocolate, and it's very strong on uh, cold sniff. I've heard people really like that one. I do love chocolate scents. Just hoping maybe a little more espresso in there. And with my last haul, I did get some wax melts of the Toasty Hot Toddy. And this is dark rum, maple, toasted pecans, and warm vanilla. And this one's very rich and decadent. Now, this one... I don't think this one has that boozy note in it like the wax melt does actually. 
Um, <clears throat> oh, I should have grabbed my, I should have grabbed my uh, toasty hot toddy. Maybe I will, because they sound, they smell a little bit. Yeah, I just grabbed the uh, wax melt in the toasty, toasty hot toddy. I, yeah, it, it smells different. This one is a, like a deeper, richer um, undertone to it. And I kind of pick up that kind of boozy vibe to it. Yeah, this one smells, it smells different. Um, yeah, I don't get, it's not as, as rich and doesn't have that liqueur kind of uh, smell to it, the candle. I mean, I get the uh, I get the maple, um, the toasted pecans, the vanilla, but I'm kind of missing the dark rum with this one. Yeah, they smell they smell different. Oh, I don't know. Um, this one has a dark rum in it, and this one doesn't. So, well, anyway, that's what that's what my nose is picking up anyhow. Um, they do smell different. I do like that, um, but I don't know where the rum went. <laughs> um, alrighty, so the uh, wax melts. Uh, I did, I forgot to pick this up last time, so I got it this time. It's warm apple toddy. Oh, I love that picture. Um, crisp apple, warm cider, pear, and toddy. This reminds me of that Bath and Body Works candle, uh, Tis the Season. That's very close to this one. It's that very rich apple scent. Yeah, I don't know if I get the, the toddy part of it. But it's, it's a very a warm, sweet apple scent. Oh, well, that is good. Alrighty, um, oh, I did get an espresso cake pop in the wax melt also. There's just some areas in my house where I can't, um, I don't have a warmer, like a plug-in where I can plug in a warmer. So some, sometimes I use a lot of tea lights in places where I can't, the plug won't reach. I think I'm picking up the coffee more in this one. Instead of the candle. I don't know. Is mine? I, I don't know. Anywho. Um, oh, I also did get a lavender snowfall. Because I thought, oh, this is... If I'm going to like this, you know, I might as well pick it up in the wax melt, too. Okay, this is weird. Oh, no. On the back, it smells the same as the candle. I'm thinking, oh, this is... I only smell lavender on this side. A little bit of peppermint. This smells more like the candle on the back. <laughs> yeah, I think the more I'm sniffing this, I think the more I'm kind of liking it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's growing on me or just maybe it's a little bit different than the wax melt. Oh, lordy, I don't know. Oh, I did get another toasted hot toddy. Oh, I showed you that one. That's what I'm comparing. No, I didn't. Sorry. Um, that's what I came out to compare. Oh my God, Heidi. Woo. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of insomnia the past couple weeks and my brain is not working. So this is teakwood from the Odor Eliminating line. I did get the other Odor Eliminating wax melt in, uh, what was it? Icy... I see rain showers or something like that, and I put it in the bathroom. And it was very, very light. Um, so this is uh, so this is teak wood. This is lemon, bergamot, cardamom, jasmine, rosemary, mahogany, driftwood, rosewood, oak moss. Way too many scent notes. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a, a woody, clony scent. But again, just like the, that icy rain showers or whatever it was, it's a little bit light on coal compared to the other wax melts. 
So I don't, I'm not sure why they're calling them odor eliminators. I mean, once Frank's done with the bathroom, I don't think this is going to do much. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's stronger than the other rainy, icy rain showers or whatever, but... Alrighty, this is cranberries. Uh, it's just fresh cranberries and green leaves. And I absolutely love the little chickadees with the berries there. It's so pretty. And this, oh, this is a very sweet cranberry. I think the, the website said a tart cranberry, but no, it, it's, it, it's definitely a very, very sweet cranberry. The green leaves... Well, so I think it's like 90% cranberry and 10% leaves. But yeah, that's a very sweet cranberry. Oops. Um, what's next here? This is a summer one. This is Sunlit Sands. Warm Sands, Pineapple, Mango, Coconut, and Soft Banana. And I get coconut right off the bat. A very, very soft, musky. Uh, coconut, oops, pineapple, mango, banana. I don't, I don't, I don't get banana. Might be a, just a hint of pineapple and mango, just a hint. I get more of a very soft, musky uh, coconut. And I love those type of uh, coconut scents, little soft, musky ones. Oops, do I have you upside down? Yes, I do. There we go. So that's Sunlit Sands. And this is uh, Wonderland. And uh, holy smokes, it was a little clear on the website, but it looks like a snow squall coming through there. Crisp Peppermint, Vanilla, Ice Lemon, Light Balsam, and White Woods. So I love the combination of like pine and evergreens mixed with uh, peppermint. Oh yeah, this is good. It's not an in-your-face, drain-your-sinuses kind of peppermint. I, I can pick up um, the balsam in the woods in the background. Um, I think it really just softens it up and makes the peppermint a little more earthy. Oh, it's very pretty, though. Just a nice, soft peppermint scent. Now, I did get two of this particular scent because I love bright greenery scents, especially in the summer and the spring. And that is uh, Willow Tree Lane. And this is Willow Tree Sweet Lemon Soft Muss and Blooms. Yeah, this is just a nice, bright greenery scent. And I love those type of scents. So it's a little tamer than Bath and Body Works um, Fresh Bamboo. That one really is a powerhouse. This is a little bit softer, but it's still a bright, light greenery scent. So that's very pretty. I like those scents for the spring and summer. And this is Sweet Pine and Snowflakes. And Citron Star Starry Snow. What the heck is that? Pine, fir, balsam, sugared, mistletoe, cedar, poinsettia, and ivory, ivy wreath. Yeah, this is definitely a pine scent. Get a bit of the green, like a sharper greenery kind of scent, but it's definitely pine, which I love those type of scents. Oh, love it. Not an overly strong, strong pine scent, uh, but it's very, very pretty and I did get another lovely Lee's which I got last time and apple plum woodland leaves cedarwood and sandalwood oh yeah this is so nice this is so fall like I get the apple and the plum I get that kind of raking the leaves earthy scent to it sandalwood softens it up a little bit of a woodsy note really like this one. I'm glad I picked up another one. So that is my second Goose Creek haul. So that should be it until they have another sale. Um, but yeah, when the prices were at, a, you know, half decent, um, I did want to stock up um, because it's been years since I've had Goose Creek. So anyway,
that's it. I hope everyone enjoyed. Um, take care of yourselves and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.